Hello everyone, and welcome to my bold and beautiful official channel. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. Once Steffi hurt Finn in appreciation, she refused his hospital idea and just wanted to go home. Finn carried Steffi into the cliff home, but she eventually consented to get checked out tomorrow morning. For now, Steffi focused on recuperating so she could reconnect with the kids and kissed Finn as she continued to praise his brave rescue. Back at the apartment complex, Lee Finnegan insisted Luna Nozawa was going to prison and scolded her for letting Poppy Nozawa languish behind bars instead. Luna pretended like Lee didn't care for Poppy anyhow and whined since her bad mother was on drugs half the time growing up. Since Lee didn't intervene and help offer Luna a better life, Luna blamed her aunt too. Luna ranted about having to kill Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister because Poppy was going to mess everything up like she usually did. After Lee claimed Luna was going down for her crimes, Luna tried to make a break for it again. Lai wound up knocking Luna to the floor and seemed happy about her Nozawa power moment. Deputy Chief Bradley Baker showed there, so Lai was delighted to turn up Luna as the culprit behind the Il Giardino deaths and Steffi's kidnapping. While Luna got jailed on Thursday's B&B &B episode, Bill Spencer was with Katie Logan when he got a call from Justin Barber. Justin had a contact in the police department, so he notified Bill that Poppy was innocent and walking free soon. Bill realized the genuine offender was in the process of getting hauled into custody as well. Once Bill gave a startled Katie updates, he rushed off to break the news to Poppy himself. Poppy was perplexed as she was escorted to the visitor's area, where Bill ultimately disclosed that she was being released. Thanks to a phone call to confirm things, Bill knew the police had detained the guy who was responsible for targeting Tom and Hollis. Poppy sobbed with relief and embraced Bill before Baker entered the room. Before Poppy could coax more knowledge out of Baker, Luna was brought in looking glum. Poppy didn't realize that Luna was handcuffed, so she joyously told her daughter that the cops found the true killer. Although Poppy was delighted to go home, she observed Luna had an odd look on her face and wondered what was wrong. Our predictions lead to Luna lashing out once it all snaps into place for Poppy, so don't miss their encounter. The bold and the beautiful spoilers suggest Poppy will soon suffer absolute despair as she struggles to wrap her head around Luna's illicit actions. However, Poppy got bewildered when Luna Nozawa was brought in seconds later. Although Poppy was initially prepared to celebrate with Luna, she's starting to recognize that something must be wrong. It won't be long until Poppy knows Luna has been arrested, so she may argue that the cops have made another mistake. Poppy wasn't guilty of taking down Tom Starr and Paul Hollis Hollister, Hollis W. Chambers, but she won't want to believe Luna is guilty either. Unfortunately, Poppy will have to confront the dreadful truth and accept that Luna isn't the innocent girl she thought she was. Luna is actually an extremely deranged young woman who falsified the paternity test, wiped out two men, framed Poppy and held Steffi captive. Both Poppy and Bill will have to come to grips with Luna's horrific conduct, but it's doubtful Luna will express any true sorrow. Luna may finally blow off at Poppy and pretend like it's her fault for providing her no stability when she was a kid, but she may be careful to avoid admitting guilt in front of Deputy Chief Bradley Baker. Other B&B &B spoilers predict Steffi will gain her strength back at home as she keeps reuniting with John Finn Finnegan. Steffi may make it obvious that she doesn't hold Hope Logan's kiss against Finn, especially now that he's shown to be her hero. Kelly Spencer and Hayes Forrester Finnegan have been missing their mom, but they'll ultimately get an opportunity to reconcile with Steffi for some sweet bonding moments. Finn, Steffi, Hayes and Kelly will all share some moments together, so they'll show off what a lovely family unit they are. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate Steffi and Finn will look forward to a bright future, so keep with us for more predictions on what's ahead for this couple. For starters, Steffi Forrester's abduction has pushed Ridge and Taylor closer. 
Taylor and Ridge have been taking steps to look for Steffi, so they've been united in that objective and their darkest worries about their missing daughter. Ridge and Taylor have been hugging as they encourage one other, but B&B fans haven't seen them cross any real limits yet. That could change soon, especially as positive news Ridge travels and Taylor, Taylor and Ridge obtain is... updates on John Finn Finnegan rescue Steffi from Luna Nozawa's gloomy plans. Taylor and Ridge are undoubtedly going to be relieved that Steffi made it out alive. Of course, Ridge and Taylor are going to cope with some anger over Luna's behavior, but they'll also have a chance to celebrate Steffi's safety and independence. This might easily escalate into a situation where Taylor and Ridge go overboard. What if Ridge and Taylor share a kiss in the heat of the moment? It'd be an interesting twist considering the way Taylor's been slamming Hope Logan for having her lips all over her rival's hobby. Taylor would be doing the same thing if she impulsively kissed Ridge, albeit it'd be a bit different in this scenario if Ridge reciprocated. Finn wasn't to blame for Hope planting a smooch on him, but Ridge would probably kiss Taylor back if she initiated a lip lock. Regardless, Ridge and Taylor have done this sort of thing before, so they might do it again. If Taylor and Ridge start sneaking kisses in private, they might escalate things with a steamy hookup down the road. Bottom line, Taylor isn't over Ridge, so their joy over Stefa's rescue could lead to disaster. Ridge isn't known for his loyalty, so we wouldn't be surprised if he went behind Brooke's back with a kiss treachery. The bold and the beautiful spoilers indicate Brooke had best ready for some drama, so keep with us for more predictions on any cheating that might be on the horizon. Numerous Disney-owned networks are no longer available to 11 million DirecTV users since talks have not resulted in an agreement thus far. He airs every day on ABC during the week. The timing of the blackout, which began on Sunday, September 1, couldn't be worse given the dramatic cliffhanger from last Friday when Sonny Corinthos fired twice at Agent John Jagger Cates. Sadly, there's still no formal word of a deal being reached, so DirecTV subscribers will never be able to see all the pandemonium in PC. Regarding who is to blame for the ongoing conflict, DirecTV and Disney have been busy blaming one another. Fans of ESPN are also displeased since, like ABC, it is a Disney property and has closed down. Given the current hot sports events, it is understandable why supporters want issue handled as soon as possible. The same is true for Guillaume Ewers, as the drama has intensified significantly since Sonny fired the trigger. Although a precise time frame for the end of this blackout is impossible to forecast, one similar instance occurred in 2023 and lasted for two weeks. Disney and Charter Spectrum fought until a settlement was made, so perhaps a DirecTV agreement will be achieved in a similar amount of time. Once everything is settled, Disney-owned programming ought to be brought back right away. It's just a matter of finding terms that work for everyone. Hopefully, Disney and DirecTV can reach an agreement in the next few days, which will allow ABC to reappear for DirecTV subscribers who are excited to watch their beloved soap opera once more. In the interim, if you're among the numerous DirecTV subscribers impacted by the dispute, you can always watch Guiche on Hulu. Stay in for updates on all the PC chaos as General Hospital teasers hint at major sunny surprises and other big narrative twists in store. Thanks for watching, everyone. What do you think will happen next? We love hearing from you.